Hello. Hello. Good morning, ladies. Um, we are here to ask you some questions about the Hastings Half Marathon. Fantastic. Which you and Miss Mason and Mr. Murphy is doing. Yeah, and Miss Gardner uh, and, and Mr. Gardner. Connor and Mr. Young, I believe. Oh, so there's a lot far. of you. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, first question is, what inspired you to do the marathon? Well. We're running the marathon for Cancer Research UK. Mm -hmm. yep. So it's really important that we raise as much money as possible to try and help people that are suffering with cancer among, in the whole country and to help find some cures for cancer because hopefully one day it will all be gone and we won't have to worry about it. So that's the real reason behind running the half marathon. What's mm -hmm. kind of your goal? What is your amount of money that you're hoping to have raised? We are hoping to raise as much as we possibly can. So we've already got over £300 already for wow. Team Helenswood, which is really good. But we need much, much, much more because we want to raise, oh, I don't know, we haven't thought of the target yet, but we want to raise as much as we can. Why not go for it? Sky's the limit. Um, okay. So is there um, a lot of other schools doing it as well? Do you know what? We don't know. We haven't heard about any other schools doing it so far. We think so far we're the ones that are leading the way okay, in Hastings. So watch Team Helenswood cross that finish line on March the 24th. Okay. My mum did the Hastings Half Marathon last year and she didn't like, she didn't handle it very well. Okay. She got a bit like, how do you think you're going to handle it? Do you think you're going to be very like sweaty and tired and very... Um, oh yes, I'll be very very sweaty. It depends what the weather's going to be like today, because mm. it might be warm, it might be cold. But I think yeah, we'll be very sweaty. We'll be very 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 tired <laughs> because we're going to run up all those hills for everybody to laugh at us at the end. So, <laughs> but we're all looking forward to it, and we're all training really really well at the moment. So me and Katie well. will hopefully be there on the day. Brilliant. So, so we will interview you then. Hopefully, you will. if we see you. Yeah. So this, next time you'll be interviewing us, and we'll be. Yeah. Very tired. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. How, how have you prepared? Okay, right, we're training at the moment. We're going out in teams after school, so when you've all gone home, we're running around the streets with Hastings mm -hmm. as teams to get each other's pace to improve, and we're running as far as we can. And we're also doing it individually at the weekend. So I've just done 10 miles on Saturday, just gone. Wow in just less than one hour and 20 minutes, wow, so I'm hoping it. for a fast time. <laughs> but we're all doing different things and we're all training all together and all separately. Well, this is going to be going on the school website, so you would, would you like to tell the people watching this how you can donate money? You can, yes. To donate money, you just need to go to justgiving.com and then forward slash Team Helenswood, I believe. You'll find it if you search Team Helenswood and you'll see us all there, all your teachers and uh, members of staff that are running and then you can just click on any of our names it doesn't matter whoever you click on it really is all going to the same good course for cancer research and it all goes into the big pot for team mm -hmm. so you can do it online or you can bring some money in to school which we'll talk about in assemblies which will be coming up on it okay thank you very much for letting us interview you we will see you on the half marathon looking day looking forward to it girls see you then thank you bye bye, bye. hello bye. girls katie perskler no i'm abby bowers and we're going to interview you today great for the hastings half marathon yes very exciting mm -hmm. okay what would you like to know okay well first off what inspired you to um run the mar half marathon oh gosh well do you know what i've always wanted to be able to run i thought Never in a million years will I ever be able to run. But there was a message in staff briefing one morning from Miss Gardner. And she announced that her and Mr Murphy would be setting up a team for Helensward to run the half marathon. Did anyone fancy it? Well, I've always been cycling to school to try yeah. and keep fit. I've enjoyed cycling to school. But you do have to set off from home really early. It takes me about half an hour to get here. And I thought, well, instead of cycling maybe this is my chance and so i took up the challenge set down by miss gardner and mr murphy very nice great um, how have you prepared yourself for the marathon well okay there's a number of ways first of all i started off on short runs with miss gardner and so she took us out up the road to the helenswood upper school and back and we just started off on slow, smaller trips running there walking back and that was about 
three miles. So our first run was about three miles. And then in addition to that, I've been doing lots of running at home. So I plot a little route around where I live and then gradually every weekend I'd make my route longer. So last weekend, for the first time ever, I made it to 12 miles. Yes. Wow. Yes, I was quite pleased with that. And after 12 miles, there's a significant reward in chocolate I find is quite also helpful for preparing, Very. you know, little treats. Very, yeah. that motivation. Absolutely. I do look forward to a bag of more teasers after I've done a run. <laughs> yeah, who doesn't? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yes. um, so, is there like any food that you don't eat now because you're... Are you cutting down? Oh, am I cutting down? Well, I mean, that's an interesting thing because obviously running makes you want to eat more because mm. you're burning lots of calories all the time. Although, because it's having a positive effect on me health-wise, I am now less tempted. In fact, I don't eat crisps anymore. I have a big, wow. strong passion for crisps. <laughs> I could never do that. Well, could you not? It's no. funny because sometimes, bizarrely enough, well, sometimes I can run and then think, gosh, I want to eat the biggest dinner in the yeah. world. I also don't have the need to snack in the way I used to. So now I just look forward to a really good meal, but I don't feel the need to eat lots of rubbish in between time. How do you think you're going to handle it? Well, the actual ma half marathon yeah. itself? Well, I'm actually quite excited. I'm doing training that involves lots of hills all the time. So I'm not training on the flat. I'm training around country lanes, going up and down. And so I always know there's another hill coming around the next mm. corner. Mentally, though, I'm a little bit concerned about Queensway. I understand, oh, yes. yes, that that isn't <laughs> really exciting me because you can see what's coming. At the moment, I did a hill at the weekend which I forgot how long this hill was, but because it was a country lane, there was lots of bends in this hill. So I'd keep turning the corner thinking, I've made, oh no, I haven't made it. And I'd carry on running, turn the next corner, oh no, it's still more hill. So in a way, that's helping me think about how to get through. And I'm also picturing my partner and little boy at the end of the run. I'm also really excited about seeing their faces when they cross the finish line. Yes! How do they feel about you doing the whole Oh, they're marathon? very excited and amazed. When I get home from running, my little boy is only three and a half Aww. and he says, are we going to do stretching now, mummy? And he helps me do my stretches. So we do stretching out together. <laughs> and obviously having run so far, I might be a little bit sweaty. And he says, you've been running, haven't you, <laughs> mummy? So they're being very supportive. Very supportive indeed. Oh. Yeah, on um, the half marathon day, um, how many bottles of water are you going to take? <gasps> I don't know actually, because what I do at the moment, and it's probably not a good technique, but I tend to just go out and run and when I get back, drink lots of water when I return home. So I just keep drinking as much water as I can get back inside me. Because obviously if you're sweating lots, then you're clearly losing fluids, mm. aren't you? And before I run, I don't eat because I get a terrible stitch if I eat just before I run. So I leave a big gap between food and running. How much will I drink? I probably drink most of it at the end. I imagine pints and pints of water <laughs> afterwards. Mm. Um, well, we might be there on the day. Um, Brilliant. We might see you, so we probably Indeed, will ask then. you a couple of questions then. Oh, at the end, will you wait yeah. till I've got to the end? Possibly. Not yeah, halfway round. No, I, I'd lose momentum. Run with you. No, no, run with me. Or if I stopped, I'd never start again. No, I've no. got to be able to yes. keep going. It will either be the beginning or the end. Right, can't wait. How exciting. How exciting. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you're aware we're raising money, of course, for cancer research yeah, in yeah. UK age. And from that, there are links to all our individual pages. Shall I show you how much I've got so far? Okay. Okay, so I've got a little link on here. Let's have a look. There's the team page, and as a team, we've raised £307.50. And then on my own page, this is quite exciting, I've been making videos. So you can actually mm -hmm. see the state of me once I've finished training. So there's me with Miranda. Miranda supports Team Helenswood. That's quite exciting. And she? Wow. Oh, yes, yes, me and Miranda. Yeah, we're good mates. Um, and so there we are. Um, that's all my donators so far. So I've got friends, and look, one of my tutor group sponsored me there, and I've got aunts and uncles, Aww. and my mum and dad, Mrs Monk. And then down here are all my videos. Do you want to see the video of the 12 miles? Yeah. Should we have a quick peek at 12 mile video? See if we've got the um, volume working. Well, I'm not sure if it's working or not. Okay, and I've just completed my first 12 mile run. Look at the state of me. I set off with a genius playlist of handbags and glad rags. And when I got halfway round, 
So that was me at the end of 12 miles. And as I was saying, you were asking about preparing and training. Well, I always plug into the iPhone iPod, mm -hmm. and on it, I always select a genius playlist. And it allows you, if you've ever tried one of those, they're quite clever. Mm -hmm. So you pick one track, and then your iPod decides which tracks are suited to that. Really? So I started out with a track by the Stereophonics called Handbags and Glad Rags, originally by Rod Stewart, by the way. And that was my first song. Mm -hmm. And then it tells you, it just turns out, more songs for you that relate to that original song. So how I get round is that I've got the iPod and music playing and all the different beats keep mm. me running and then I've got a little app called Map My Run and there's a lady there that tells me how far I've gone so every now and then it'll say one mile, nine minutes and thirty seconds and then when you reach two miles two miles average and it keeps telling me how fast I'm going so if I start to slow up then I can start to get a bit quicker again so I've got this little app that helps me as well okay well um this uh, interview is going to go on the school website oh is it so we're is there whole... anything you'd like to say well I'd like to say disclaimer they didn't tell me that at the start of this interview so <laughs> uh, if I seem a bit mad sorry but really important everybody we are raising money for Cancer Research UK Anyone can donate to any of the team. It doesn't matter which teacher you give your money to. It really doesn't matter. So long as you give something, and it doesn't matter if it's 50p for £50, it really doesn't matter how much you've got to give. The entire team is supporting Cancer Research UK. Please, if you see us passing you on the street, and we're training around the area of Hastings all the time after school, give us a toot on your car. It really helps encourage get us round. And every time a donation comes into our page, a little ting goes off in the Just Giving app. And so you get an excited feeling of, I've raised more money. Please do all you can to support the Hastings Runners, the Hastings Half Marathon, Team Helenswood and Cancer Research UK. Be there on the day to watch and cheer us on. Cheer us on as you see us training around the streets. And thank you for your support. It really helps us get round. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Hello. I'm Katie. And I'm Abby. And we are interviewing Mr. Mr Murphy um, on oh. the Half Marathon. Yes. Right. First question, what inspired you to do the half marathon? Well, that's a very good question. Um, it was actually a conversation I had with Miss Gardner. Miss Gardner asked me if I would like to help her train some people from Helensburg School uh, to run the half marathon. I normally do it anyway, to be fair. I normally do it quite a lot. Um, so I said, yeah, I'd love to. And then we asked, in, uh, we have a meeting every Monday morning at work here in the staff room. And I said, would you, who would like to join us in running the half marathon? And Miss Mason was straight away, yes. And then obviously Mr. Lewis has come on board with Mr. Connor. So it was kind of a chat with Miss, uh, Miss Gardner that got me inspired into running again. Well, um, we were speaking to Miss Mason earlier and she said that you and Miss Gardner and some of the others um, in the Helenswood team are quite fast on your feet. Would you say that you are? That's a good question. Um, well, uh, I'm, I'm going to be big headed. Yes, I think I'm the fastest one. I think I am. I think I am the fastest one. Uh, I don't train as much as the others, but I've run a lot before, and I yes, I am the fastest. So there you go. Prepared? No, not prepared. I can't oh, run. Really? I, I can't run the whole lot yet. I can run. Mm. I say sure. I can run about five miles really fast, but ten miles is, is hard work. So um, yeah, so I start to slow down a bit the longer I go. Um, this may sound like a weird question, yes. but on the day of the half marathon, yep. how many bottles of water are you going to take? Uh, I normally drink, uh, I'd like to drink an energy, well actually no, I have a cup of tea first, I always have a cup of tea, and then I have an orange squash, a pint of orange squash, and then that'll probably be it, mm. and then there's drink stations around the race, so I don't want to drink too much, I always need to go to the loo, so there's, I have one, like, I want, have one every three miles, so every three miles in the race, and I just take a drink, because <coughs> keeping hydrated is very important, mm. otherwise I get tired, so. How have you prepared yourself for the marathon? Um, I have been training. Uh, I've been training since about October, but I am very busy at the moment. I know it's a very awful excuse, but I've been bit, quite busy and I've only been out once a week for the last two weeks. Uh, but I normally try and run two or three times a week, um, if I can. And it's like a mixture of uh, like this length as well. So one day I run three miles, another day I run eight miles, and another day I run five, and I mix it all up. Mm -hmm. um. Um, have you had to change your um, diet when you're whilst training? No. In fact, I've eaten more. 
because I've been losing weight, so I eat more food. So I've been eating everything, everything I can get my hands on. So people say that, yeah, I'm supposed to eat specific things, I just eat everything. That is a complete sounds like, difference to like me. the others that we've been doing. Is it really? That just sounds like me. It's, yeah, anything you mm. have on, pizza, chips, chocolate, everything. So I've been avoiding all the healthy stuff, so I know, because I'm going to be losing weight, so I have to eat all that unhealthy. Is that wrong? That's yeah, yeah, that's okay, right. So I, I actually think that sounds quite logical, Thank to you. be honest. Thank you. <laughs> because if you're running a weight, then you want to put weight on. Yeah, I want burgers. Okay. Horse meat. <laughs> no, not horse meat. <laughs> not Tesco's. Um, anyway, um, um, horse meat. Um, um, this will be going on the school website, so is there anything that you'd like to say to the people that might be watching? Yes, there is. Um, it's not easy. 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 It's not it's not easy running, it's not an easy thing to do. It's, it takes a long, long time, it takes a lot of effort, and I get very, very tired. If you want to see how tired I am, you have to look at my Just Giving page, which is justgiving.com forward slash Kieran dash Murphy one, I think is what it is, or just go to Team Helenswood page and click on my link from there. Um, and the effort we're putting in is for a wonderful cause. We're raising money for Cancer Research UK, and obviously it's a terrible illness, terrible disease, um, and the more money we raise, the more we can help. So give, mate, give us some money, dig deep, Raid your pockets, raid the piggy banks, look at the back of the down the back of the settee and find some money. Hello, Miss Gardner. Hello, Hello, girls. Hello, Tee. And I'm Abby, and we're going to be interviewing you for the Hastings Half Marathon. Um, first question? <laughs> oh, okay. What are you planning to wear on the day? Ooh, something with pink on it. Uh, probably a pair of shorts, probably some trainers. Are you worried about the weather? I am. I, I hope it's warm and sunny. I don't want it to rain because all our lovely supporters, hopefully, might get a little bit wet. And uh, yeah, sunshine, please. Mm -hmm. So do some sun dances. Well, we will hopefully be there. So we hope it doesn't Brilliant. rain as well. Um, what have you like cut down any food or anything? Definitely not. If anything, I've eaten more because when you train, you use up a lot of energy and you need to eat more. So when you exercise, it doesn't mean you stop eating. No, you need to eat more. What have you been eating for breakfast? Because that's obviously a very Usually. important meal for the day. Definitely. Toast and marmite every day. What did you have this morning? Toast and marmite. We were told you had a donut. Who told you that? <laughs> <laughs> Never. She's a fibber. I think Miss Atkin had the donut. <laughs> Carry on. Okay. How many bottles of water are you planning to take? See, that's really difficult because I, I can't carry it. So mm. what I'd hope is there's some lovely people with oranges and water stations around. Yeah. So yeah. I think yeah. I think for 13 miles, probably a good two bottles of water. Yeah. Who do you think is the fastest out of all the teachers that are around? Mr Murphy. That's oh, that's who he said it. that as well. I bet he did. Yeah. <laughs> Game on, Mr Murphy. He said you were all like, Mr um, Mason said you were all like gazelles. Gazelles. <laughs> well, I definitely haven't got long legs, but they do bounce a little bit. But yeah, they're short. So, um, Mr Murphy, I think, is very quick. However, Mr Lewis, I think, could be mm -hmm. a real competitor for Mr Murphy. How have you been training for the, com for the marathon? For the marathon, sorry. Lots of running in the snow, in the wind, in the rain, along the seafront, up the hills, through the mud, in the dark. Ooh. Lots of running. Um, well, this is going to go on the school website, oh, no. so is there anything that you'd like to say? Yes, I would actually. If anybody would like to come and support us, please come on the 24th of March. Come and stand around the streets of St Leonard's and Hastings and cheer us on, because we're going to need it. So get yourselves there, and if anybody would like to join in, come and run the mini run. Come and see me if you would like an application form, or Miss Mason, or Mr Murphy, or any other teachers running. Would you like to tell them how to um, how you can donate money and sponsor you? I'd love to. If you go onto the Helen's website, you can find the link for us running in the news pages. It's justgiving.com and find the Team Helenswood website and select any one of us to give generously. Otherwise, you can go and give some money in to Miss Bennett in the bursar's office at the lower school. All okay. donations go to Cancer Research UK, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Okay. That will be all.